Hi, I'm Sean. This is Shani Reads. Um, I'm going to take part in the Buzzword Readathon, which is put on by Books and Lala, and I will um, link all the information in the description bar. It starts today, Monday the 7th, and I think runs for a week. Um, and the only rule is that you have to read books with the word girl in the title. Um, so I guess it doesn't really matter how many books you read, and also it could be girl, girly, girls, or any variation of the word girl. Girl time. I don't know. Um, so I'm not 100% sure why I'm doing this because I haven't really completed that half Halloween-a-thon and um, I don't know if I'll have masses of time this week for reading because I've got like two jobs anyway so we'll kind of see how it goes but it was kind of I've just picked up books that I had at home anyway with the word girl in the title and it was quite nice to look through my books and find um, titles and it may meant I had like a, quite an interesting pile of books um, some of which I've just had for ages and could do with reading and a couple which I or one which I wanted to finish anyway. So I'll just tell you what the books that I ended up finding from my shelves were. So the first one was, this one's from the library, The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. And this is a children's book, so I think it's like 8 to 12 or middle grade book, um, about um, a girl who's put out for a sacrifice for a witch. It looks like, I've heard that it's quite a good book. Um, it looks quite cute, so it would be nice to have a little go of that one. I have also got Diary of a Teenage Girl by Phoebe Glockner and this is the one that was made to the film and I really love the film um, and that's why I bought the book because I love the film so much. Um, the book is a mixture of um, a graphic novel and then also lots of text as well. Um, I had started it so I got not that far in. I think because it was exactly the same, what I read was exactly the same as the film, it kind of wasn't keeping me interested, but now it's been a while since I've seen the film, maybe I'll um, get more into it. But yeah, the film was so great, so I imagine this is going to be great as well. I have got Snot Girl by Brian Lee O'Malley and Leslie Hung, and it's Green Hair Don't Care, Volume 1. Um, so that would be a, a nice quick one to read for the readathon. And there's this one, which I'm halfway through, which I've mentioned before, Paul Takes the Form of a Mortal Girl by Andrea Lawler. And I've read about half of it. Um, I like it, but it's not, hasn't kind of made me want to keep reading it particularly. So it would be good to kind of um, devote a little bit of time to it this week. It's a book about um, someone called Paul who he can sort of shape shift into um, and, and change his body to that of a woman's body. So it's kind of discussing sort of uh, gender and it's in the 90s as well. Um, Michelle T, Maggie Nelson, Eileen Miles, all blurb the back, and I do like it, but it's not. I'm not loving it, so I will keep going with it, and then maybe by the end, I'll have changed my mind a little bit. This one I've had in the house for ages, and I'm not even confident. I don't think I've read it. I'm pretty sure I haven't read it. It's got the invoice in it, and it, I bought it in 2008. Um, but it's a memoir, and it's called Girl Bomb: A Halfway Homeless Memoir by Janice Earl Janice Earlbaum. Um, and it's about her being 15 and kind of leaving home because of her mother's kind of abusive boyfriends and her st uh, horrible stepfather and then kind of being, I guess, half homeless, like the uh, title says. So she kind of stays with people or stays out all night and all that kind of thing. It looks like it's going to be um, a good one. Uh, so, yay. Do you know when this one was published? It looks like it might be a little bit... 90s, published in 2006, I guess would have been set, um, 80s, 90s, so that's that one. Uh, this one I've previously read, which is Local Girls by Alice Hoffman, but Bert recently read it and I wouldn't mind rereading it because I read, I um, got obsessed with Alice Hoffman and just read all of them within like one after the other and now they all kind of blur into one, but he really enjoyed it so it would be good um, to reread this one. This one is Ugly Girls and it's by Lindsay Hunter who also wrote um, the short story collection Don't Kiss Me. Uh, this is Bert's book I think and I really love the cover of it. It looks like it's going to be kind of fun. It looks a little bit, it's an adult fiction but it's a little bit I think um, looking at teenage girl life. Jamie Attenberg on the back has blurbed it. Um, 
and it's about two girls, Perry and baby girl, who are best friends, and they spend their nights sneaking out of their trailers, stealing cars for joyrides, and doing all they can to appear hard to the outside world. So that's that. And then the last one I've got is one, again, I've had for ages. I bought it second hand. Um, every time I go through books to kind of get rid of them, I kind of think about getting rid of this one, and I think, oh, it does look interesting. So I'm willing to, I'd like to give it a go and see what I think. So it's Wild Girls, Paris Sappho and Art, The Lives and Loves of Natalie Barney and Romaine Brooks, and it's by Diana Sa Suami. And this one, so it's uh, non-fiction, and it's about these two um, women, Natalie Barney and Romaine Brooks, who were both rich, American and grandly lesbian, and they met in Paris in 1915, and their relationship lasted more than 50 years, despite infidelity, separation and temperamental, temperamental differences. It also, though, um, covers like Gertrude Stein, Colette and Edith Sitwell, and I'm interested in Dolly Wilde, who was the niece of Oscar Wilde, who... Um, ran up huge bills and died of a drugs overdose. So yeah, there's photos in there. It's kind of quite big um, font as well. I would, I'm interested to see what that one's like. So this is my pile of books with girl in the title, which ended up being kind of quite pink. There's a couple, there's that dark one at the top and the bottom. So I think it's kind of fun. Um, I'd love to know if you're taking fast in it and what books you're reading or if you have any suggestions um yeah that'd be great so i will let you know how i get on probably not very well i'll see you soon bye